What's up guys, my name is Zach, and today on my channel, I'm gonna show you how I make these 3D printed Corona masks. Um, Corona's a big deal right now, and I wanted to see if there's something I could do to help. So I've been reaching out to hospitals, um, different medical places and places of necessary business, see if I can get them some masks or get, this, get them some straps for surgical masks. And I'll explain a little bit about these later. But now, let's get into the process. All right, guys, I first got interest for 3D printing masks for the coronavirus when I came across this article um, from CNN. just talks about how a doctor was 3D printing masks um, to help meet the needs for protective gear. I thought that was really cool. So I came down, um, let's see, and I saw this mask right here he was making. And I was like, I, I was thinking I could do that, you know, I got a 3D printer. Um, it'd be really easy for me to do. And I came down here and it says you can get the files right here. So clicked on the files right here. Took me to this website. Um, and I was able to download the files right here on how to make it. So I did that and then um, download the files. Now I'm going to show you how I slice it. Okay, so now that we have the 3D file for the mask, we have to do something called slicing it for it to be readable by a 3D printer. Now when you slice uh, an STL file, which is this 3D model, what it's essentially doing is it's converting uh, the 3D file into code that a 3D printer can read. Because the 3D printer starts at the bottom and uh, it moves up in little little lines like that, right? Okay, so here's our file. So we got to turn it into G-code. So we're going to take our file. We're going to open it. I use a, a software called Cura. Um, so as we see right here, this is our mask. Um, I'm going to right-click right here. Um, let's see. I'm going to go over... I'm going to uh, select face to align to the build plate. I'm going to select this face right here so that it lays down flat like that. Um, I'm going to... Oh, we don't want to do that. Okay, let's see. I'm going to move it over the middle right here. Um, and then I'm going to rotate it. 45 degrees. Okay, now we have to line it up with the build plate. So I'm gonna come over here. Um, we want our Z at zero. And then we can kind of just wiggle it until it turns yellow. All right, just like that. So now we know that it can fit onto our build plate. Okay, then we're gonna come up here. We can mess with settings all day. Um, this particular file, it's recommended to not print with supports, but I'm going to print it with supports anyway. Um, and then right here, there's a little filter piece that you're supposed to put in the mask. I'm going to print that separately. All right. So after we get all that, we just click slice and then we put it on an SD card and it's ready to go to the 3D printer. Okay, so right here, if you look, you can see there's a little piece of plastic hanging off on the left, and there's a lot of strings on the front. That's because when I was printing it, one of my supports came loose from the build plate. It caused a lot of problems, but it's okay. We can just sand it off after it's done printing. No big deal. Okay, so I know I showed earlier how the, the print had come out a little bit rough, and that sometimes happens if there's bad build plate adhesion or there's a lot of other factors that can go into it. But as you can see here, I'm just kind of sanding the mask because um, someone's going to be putting this up on their face, so I don't want it to be, have any rough edges. Also, I'm taking a candle because um, the plastic's pretty easy to melt, and so I'm just kind of heating up places that may be sticking out at weird angles or whatever. And I'm just going to soften those so that they can fit better to the face and be smooth. So 
So here we have it, our finished 3D printed mask. Um, so as you can see here, I just hooked rubber bands around the little loops to go around peop go around your ear. Um, and then in the middle goes this little grid piece to hold the filter in place. That just goes in right there, just like that. Okay, and then for a filter, um, here I just have a piece of paper towel. You can use any piece of fabric, paper towel, napkin, just anything to kind of filter the air. It goes around the grid and goes in just like that. So there we go, our 3D printed Corona mask. Okay, so now that I've kind of wrapped up talking about the masks, I want to talk about these ear savers. Um, so as you see, the surgical mask goes behind the ear and typically uh, the strap goes and rubs on the ear right here and that can cause discomfort. And so these mask straps are designed to hook on to the straps of the surgical masks to basically save your ears from discomfort after long days of working in hospitals. What up? Okay, so here we have some of the surgical mask straps I was just talking about. Um, just like that. So, it's pretty cool. We actually have a family friend who's a physical therapist. Um, and with the whole corona thing right now, they're having to wear those cheap um, one-use surgical masks. And they they found the file online. They, they read an article about it. And they sent my dad the article. And he said, hey... I know Zach has a 3D printer. Do you think he could make some of these? That would be awesome. And so I was like, yeah, I'd love to make some. So I made him a bunch. I delivered them. And um, my dad made a post on Facebook about them. And so now I have a bunch of people reaching out, asking me to make these for them. And I think it's really cool. You know, I can't do much. But just even making these, um, I I'm able to do something to help. Uh, we're all in quarantine, you know, just sitting at home, not really doing anything. And being able to do something is really cool to me. So I'm just really grateful for the ability to do something. Hey guys, what's up? To end this video, I just wanted to leave you with a little bit of encouragement in this time of uncertainty. Um, in 1 Peter 5, 7, the Bible says, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. I just want to let you guys know that God cares about you. And he knows what's going on right now. He sees everything and he has this whole thing under control. The creator of the universe is on our side. And he's watching over us. And he cares for us. So in this time of worry and doubt, the Bible reminds us, cast all your fears and anxieties on him because he cares about you. So God is bigger than coronavirus, guys, and I have faith that he's going to take it out. So keep up your prayers, pray for your healthcare workers, and keep them in your minds. Also, if you guys have 3D printers or have access to one at this time, I'm going to leave some files down in the description. Go look at those. Um, if you or someone you know has access to a 3D printer right now, go ahead, uh, ask them to print out some stuff for some healthcare workers. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.